These kids are thrilled to get on the bus and end another school week. But they would have been happier leaving two hours early or coming in two hours late or not going to school at all. It didn't happen, even though Grant County got a layer of white that brought out the trucks. I go down Troy Avenue first and then uh, kind of work off of it. Chad Shipley's been plowing a couple of years for the county highway department. He says even a little bit of winter is dangerous when you get off the city streets. It can get pretty, pretty bad out here sometimes. The wind, you know, wind out here compared to into the city, you know, all the buildings and stuff like that in town, and then the high volume of traffic in town, you know, melt the snow off a little faster than out here in the county. 800 miles of Grant County roads, 13 trucks to plow them, and hundreds of school kids trying to make that first bell. And there's not a parent or a kid who hasn't said this at least once, hey, my road is really, really snow covered, so why aren't we closing schools? Well, imagine making those decisions for all the roads all over the county. That's what superintendents have to do every time there's bad weather. But how bad is bad enough? Oak Hill School Superintendent Joe Martin is one of the people who makes that call, which means early mornings, close-up observation, and lots of discussion about how things look on so many country roads. Most school districts cover enough distance that it's hard to see every road in a, in a timely fashion, but uh, we certainly drive when it's appropriate and check for slickness, check for uh, the, the physical conditions compared to what we're hearing on the radio and seeing on radar or television. Oak Hill alone has closed or delayed this year for snow, fog, and extreme wind chill. Martin says his decision often depends on the buses. For being such a big piece of equipment, uh, they don't handle slickness much and their traction in the back is not ideal. But we do also consider that not everyone owns a four-wheel drive vehicle and there are staff members and students who uh, live and drive on those roads that can drift quickly or become slick because there's not a lot of travel on them or they don't get treated or the attention of the highway department first. So think of it as a choice between a rock and a slick place. The Indiana weather is kind of unpredictable and someone has to make a decision before the sun comes up. I think what I would say to parents is, you know, anytime you don't feel like your child can safely ride on a bus or drive themselves to school, you have the right to make that decision. Uh, we're trying to make an overall decision that, that makes uh, the most reasonable sense for the situation. Serious choices and seriously busy days. The road to another day of learning, clear and safe, so school stays in whether they like it or not.